Security and Risk Management CISSP Domain 1 Quick Tips The objectives of security are to provide availability, integrity, and confidentiality protection to data and resources. A vulnerability is a weakness in a system that allows a threat source to compromise its security. A threat is the possibility that someone or something would exploit a vulnerability either intentionally or accidentally and cause harm to an asset. A risk is the probability of a threat agent exploiting a vulnerability and the loss potential from that action. A countermeasure, also called a safeguard or control, mitigates the risk. A control can be administrative, technical, or physical and can provide deterrent, preventive, detective, corrective, or recovery protection. A compensating control is an alternative control that is put into place because of financial or business functionality reasons. A COBIT is a framework of control objectives and allows for IT governance. ISO uh, slash IEC uh, 27001 is the standard for the establishment, implementation, control, and improvement of the information security management system. The ISO uh, slash IEC 27000 uh, series were derived from the BS 7799 and are international best practices on how to develop and maintain a security program. Enterprise architecture frameworks are used to develop architectures for a specific uh, stakeholders and uh, present information uh, in views. An information security management system or ISMS is a coherent set of policies, processes, and systems to manage risks to information assets as outlined in ISO uh, slash IEC 27001. Enterprise security architecture is a subset of business architecture and a way to describe current and future security processes, systems, and subunits to ensure a strategic alignment. Blueprints are functional definitions of the integration of technology into business processes. Enterprise architecture frameworks are used to build individual architectures that best map to individual organizational needs and business drivers. Zachman Framework is an enterprise architecture framework and SAPSA is a security enterprise architecture framework. Uh, COSO, Internal Control Integrated Framework is a governance model used to help prevent fraud within a corporate environment. ITIL is a set of best practices for IT service management. Six Sigma is used to identify defects in processes so that the processes can be improved upon. CMMI is a maturity model that allows for processes to improve in an incremented and a standard approach. 
security enterprise architecture should tie in a strategic alignment, business enablement, or enablement, uh, process enhancement, and security effectiveness. NIST SP 800-53 uses the following control uh, categories uh, technical, management, and operational. Civil law system uses pre-written rules and it's not based on precedence. Is, uh, it is different from uh, civil uh, tort laws which work under a common law system. Common law system made up of criminal, civil, and administrative laws. Customary law system addresses mainly uh, personal conduct and uses regional traditions and customs as the foundations of the laws. Uh, is usually mixed with another type of uh, listed legal system rather than being the sole legal system used in a region. And religious law system, laws are derived from religious beliefs and address an individual's religious responsibilities, commonly used in uh, Muslim countries or regions. Mixed law system uh, uses two or more legal systems. Criminal law deals with an individual's conduct that violates government laws developed to protect the public. Uh, civil law deals with uh, wrongs committed against individuals or companies that result in injury or damages. Civil law does not use prison time as a punishment, but usually requires financial restitution. Administrative or regulatory uh, law covers standards of performance or conduct uh, expected by government agencies from companies, industries, and certain officials. A patent grants ownership and enables that owner to legally enforce his rights to exclude others from using the invention covered by the patent. Copyright protects the expression of ideas rather than the ideas themselves. Trademarks protect words, names, product shapes, symbols, colors, or a combination of these used to identify products or a company. These items are used to distinguish products from the competitor's products. Trade secrets are deemed proprietary to a company and often include information that provides a competitive edge. The information is protected as long as the owner takes the necessary protective actions. Crime over the internet has brought about jurisdiction problems for law enforcement and the courts. Privacy laws dictate that data collected by government agencies must be collected fairly and lawfully, must be used only for the purpose for which it was collected, must only be held for a reasonable amount of time, and must be accurate and timely. When choosing the right safeguard to reduce a specific risk, the cost, functionality, and effectiveness must be evaluated and a cost-benefit analysis performed. A security policy is a statement by management dictating the role security plays in the organization. Procedures are detailed step-by-step -step actions that should be followed to achieve a certain task. The standards are documents that outline rules that are compulsory in nature and support the organization's security policies. A baseline is a minimum level of security. 
guidelines are recommendations and general approaches that provide advice and flexibility. Octave is a team-oriented risk management methodology that employs workshops and is commonly used in the commercial sector. Security management should work from the top down, from senior management down to the staff. Risk can be transferred, avoided, reduced, or accepted. Threats times vulnerability times asset value is equals total risk. Threats times vulnerability times asset value times control gap equals residual risk. The main goals of risk analysis are the following. Identify assets and assign values to them. Identify vulnerabilities and threats. Quantify the impact of potential threats and provide an economic balance between the impact of the risk and the cost of the safeguards. Failure Modes and Effect Analysis or FNEA is a method for determining functions, identifying functional failures and assessing the causes of failure and their failure effects through a structured process. A fault tree analysis is a useful approach to detect failures that can take place within complex environments and systems. A quantitative risk analysis attempts to assign monetary values to components within the analysis. A split knowledge and dual control are two aspects of separation of duties. Management must define the scope and purpose of security management, provide support, appoint a security team, delegate responsibility, and review the team's findings. The risk management team should include individuals from different departments within the organization, not just technical personnel. Social engineering is a non-technical attack carried out to manipulate a person into providing sensitive data to an unauthorized individual. Personally identifiable information, PII, is a collection of identity-based data that can be used in identity theft and financial fraud and thus must be highly protected. Security governance is a framework that provides oversight, accountability, and compliance. ISO uh, dash or slash IEC uh, 27004 uh, colon 2009 is an international standard for information security measurement management. NIST SP800-55 is a standard for performance measurement for information security. Information security. Business continuity management or BCM is the uh, overreaching of the overarching approach to managing managing all aspects of BCP and BRP. A business continuity plan, or BCP, contains strategy uh, documents that provide detailed procedures that ensure critical business functions are maintained and that help minimize losses of life, operations, and systems. A BCP provides procedures for emergency responses, extended backup operations, and post-disaster recovery. A BCP should have an enterprise-wide reach with individual organizational units, each having its own detailed continuity and contingency plans. A BCP needs to prioritize critical applications and provide a sequence for efficient recovery. 
a BCP requires senior executive management support for initiating the plan and final approval. BCPs can quickly become outdated due to uh, personnel turnover, reorganizations, and undocumented changes. Executives may be held liable if proper BCPs are not developed and used. Threats can, threat, threats can be natural, man-made, or technical. The steps of recovery planning include initiating the project, performing business impact analysis, developing a recovery strategy, developing a recovery plan, and implementing, testing, and maintaining the plan. The project initiation phase involves getting management support, developing the scope of the plan, and securing funding and resources. The Business Impact Analysis, BIA, is one of the most important first steps in the planning development, uh, in the planning development, in the planning development. Um, qualitative and quantitative data on the uh, business impact of a disaster need to be gathered, analyzed, in, uh, interpreted, and presented to management. Executive commitment and support are the most critical elements in developing the BCP. A business uh, case must be presented to gain executive support. This is done by uh, explaining regulatory and legal requirements, exposing vulnerabilities, and providing solutions. Plans should be uh, prepared by the people who will actually carry uh, them out. The planning group should uh, compromise representatives from all departments or organizational units. The BCP team should identify the individuals who will interact with external players, such as the uh, reporters, uh, shareholders, customers, and uh, civic officials. Response to the disaster should be done quickly and honestly, and should be consistent with any other organizational response. ISO um, slash IEC 27 O31 uh, colon 2011 describes the concepts and principles of information and communication technology ICT uh, readiness for business continuity. Uh, and finally, ISO IEC um, 22301 is the standard for business continuity management or BCM. So this is the end of the quick tips for uh, the first objective. Uh, in the next video, uh, I will uh, have the uh, quick tips for uh, the next objective for this CISSB exam. See you then.